And I say, hey, no, 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 don't pass me over. No, 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 don't pass So hello, everyone. Right now, we're in beautiful Unity, Maine, which is in central south Maine, about two hours from Acadia National Park. Uh, we're at Unity College, and it's a beautiful day out here. And we're going to walk the trails, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the local ecology here. And it's always fun to go walking with our dogs on the trails, either on leash or off leash, but they can actually be really dangerous to other wildlife. The first thing you have to do is have control of your dog. Whether they're on a leash or verbal control, you need to make sure that your dog will come back to you. What we have here is a beautiful vernal pool. Now, vernal pools are actually essential for a lot of amphibian species. Uh, what we have, something called a big night where hundreds of amphibian species will migrate from where they're uh, hibernating and burrowing underground to these big vernal pools. And why they're so important is because they lay their eggs in here. Now versus another pond, this pool is free of predators. So when the eggs are hatched and they become little tadpoles, uh, they have a much better chance of surviving out in the wild. When trees fall down in a forest, it actually is something very beneficial. Because as you can see where I am right now, there's a lot of sunlight. And that's because some trees behind me fell down during a windstorm. It's actually very important that you have trees falling down and dying. And because it opens up these big pockets of sunlight that allow all these smaller trees to grow. So what I am in right now is basically what we would find deer in during the winter. Thick stands of hemlock, like this plant I have here. It's a pine tree that has kind of small needles like this. Uh, also balsam fir, which is the plant I have right here in front of me. Um, all these plants are growing really thickly together, will protect the deer from the snow. So it's very important if, if you want to keep deer on your property, whether it's for hunting or wildlife watching or anything like that, you want to have these thick stands right here. For the asteroid that came that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago, the lycopodiums dominated all the plant species uh, on Earth. These plants were massive, they were huge trees. But once the uh, asteroid came that destroyed the dinosaurs, they wiped out a lot of other different forms of life that we usually don't think about. What we have now is just these smaller species because the ones that were bigger, the flowering plants and the trees like that, they survived and were able to flourish before the lycopodiums were able to take back their spot um, in dominance in the ecology. So it's really interesting that now this tiny little species, something that crawls around on the floor's floor, uh, once used to be eaten by dinosaurs. So out here, uh, we have something really interesting, which is a bunch of blown down trees. And usually when you see this in the New England forest, that means that an ice storm or a hurricane came through a couple of years ago and knocked over all of these trees. And there are a couple ways trees actually um, have evolved to try and combat uh, being killed by hurricanes or windstorms and ice storms. The first thing they do is if there's too much ice or precipitation on a branch, what happens is the tree cuts off um, its life support to that branch and it falls to the forest floor. And while that branch is dead, the rest of the tree trunk stays uh, alive and it doesn't bring it down with it. The second thing they do, which is really interesting, is that if you've ever cut down a tree or a tree falls over or anything like that and the root ball is still intact, what happens is the root sends nutrients to the top of the trunk, uh, whatever part of it is left and still connected, and it sends out a bunch of sprouts. And these sprouts will then perform new trunks and they'll be able to give the tree new life again. All right, so thank you all for coming on our little forest walk. I hope you enjoyed Unity College's woods as much as I do. Uh, special thanks to Unity College for letting me come out here and film in their woods, which is really awesome. And I want you guys to go out into your woods, find out what's happening there. Uh, did you guys have a forest fire in your woods? Did you have an ice storm? Maybe there's some signs of logging. I don't know. Go out and figure out what's out in your forest and uh, see the ecology there. See the natural history because it really is fascinating stuff. Say I'm crazy, got diamonds on the soles of my shoes. That's one way, blues is walking blues. They wiped out the Lycopodium trees, all except for the smaller species like the ones we have here. Toby, get off of it. It's really important too because a lot of species eat clearings like this where the trees have fallen out in order for new growth to come And when huge areas come off, you get these fields and thickets. Oh, of course, also. So, protect these ponds and we'll be able to conserve a lot more endangered species. Or you can walk through them like my dog. Good things for you and I. Good. <laughs> Shall be destroying and... <laughs>